you got analog hands for an extra hundred pounds and you're like, well, what, what is the point? Hi guys, it's Matt here. How's everyone doing? I hope everyone's doing fabulous. I'm back with another review. And today I'm going to be talking about a watch that I like to not like or I like to hate. Anyway, today I'm going to be looking at the uh, Garmin Instinct crossover, which is the latest Garmin watch really. And it is a weird one because Garmin decided to turn the Instinct into a, a hybrid smartwatch. I've been testing it for a month and I think I'm ready to kind of formulate an opinion about the watch. Uh, which I'm going to share with you today guys uh, there is a thing that I like about the watch and there's a few things I don't like about the watch uh, which I'm going to share in this video uh, so let's get right into it but before we get to that point let's just get the details out of the way this is the Garmin Instinct Crossover Solar so the Solar edition of the Instinct Crossover it's been announced November 2022 and is available to buy now both in the UK and the US. I believe it's $550 in the US and £530 in the UK. Interestingly enough, so the Garmin Instinct 2 Solar, which is a solar edition of the essentially the same watch minus a uh, you know, couple of uh, physical differences, is $450 in the US and £390 in the UK. So it is much more expensive than the Instinct 2 Solar, which has already been more expensive than the Instinct Solar. The watch weighs 2.3 ounces or 65 grams with the straps. Uh, I couldn't find a way to actually remove the straps. Uh, I believe they're, they're non-removable. As far as I'm concerned, the, the strap is very much integrated into the watch. As you can see, it's also on uh, this hinge. So, you know, it, it's not, it doesn't move around quite as much as the, you know, the Phoenix watches which is, you know, you can move it anyhow you want. Whereas this one is in a certain position, which I'm gonna come back to why is, is a good or bad thing. The watch has a 0.9 inch times 0.9 inch memory and pixel monochrome display. Again, much like previous uh, Instinct watches, it's a smallish display and it's a memory and pixel display. I know a lot of people like the watches for this reason that they come with memory and pixel uh, screens as opposed to like AMOLED or anything else. Uh, anyhow, it is a memory and pixel screen for sure. It is an Instinct smartwatch, so as you can expect, this is very rugged, it is shock and vibration and thermal resistant. It has a 64 megabyte memory, uh, built-in memory, which is not enough for anything else apart from obviously, you know, the, the watch face that you can download. There's no maps, there's no anything, it's just, just the bare minimum stuff. And the watch has a, a very long battery life, so with the, with the solar, uh, considering that you got, you know, exposed the watch to enough sunlight, uh, the battery life is 70 days, so that's, you know, two months and a bit. Uh, and even with our solar, the uh, battery life on the Instinct crossover is Instinct crossover solar is 28 days, which is uh, you know almost a full month. Or if it's February, it's a full month. And uh, the GPS battery life is equally as good. Let me just double check. Yes, it's 25 hours without the the solar and 31 hours with the solar. So again, pretty long battery life altogether. But again, considering that the screen is very small, um, it's it's not you know it's not mind blowing, but it, it is a very good battery life altogether. So what's new about the Garmin Instinct Crossover Solar or, you know, the Garmin Instinct Crossover, it, the, the main difference between this watch, uh, this watch and the predecessor, which is the Garmin Instinct 2 Solar, is the analog hands and then this chapter ring that surrounds the display, which is a, a, a luminescent, it has a luminescent cover so you can see the watch uh, in, in low light conditions without turning the backlight on. And this this is this is like the main thing really essentially that, that differentiates the Instinct 2 Solar and then the Garmin Instinct Crossover Solar. Apart from that, all the functionality is essentially the same from a physical perspective, obviously the same GPS, the same heart rate sensor, again, same physical shape, weight, all of that. Um, it's literally just the arms and then the chapter ring. And there's another thing that, that just a vulnerable thing, which again connects to this analog nature of the Instinct uh, crossover solar. Uh, it's called Revo Drive, which means that the watch, if you if you knock the watch accidentally or not accidentally onto things, uh, and it knocks the the arms out position, a Revo Drive is going to put them back in position essentially. I guess the same the same sort of Revo Drive technology helps move the arms away when you interact with the display, the digital display, which is uh, hidden, again, in, in brackets, it's hidden behind the analog hands. Okay, so now that we've got the details out of the way, let's talk about the two things that I like about the watch. The first of which is an obvious thing. It is a super weird watch. It's a super weird Garmin watch. Uh, it is just like, it's, it's uh, you know, the Instinct's never been the most, uh, 
how can I put it? And the most handsome Garmin watches uh, and Garmin watches in general are, you know, renowned for their rugged exterior, which looks a bit clunky anyway. And, and, and the all plastic instinct uh, series has always been like the clunkier version of all the, all the Garmin watches. And uh, putting a uh, an analog handle and chapter ring on this watch, it, well, it, it, I, I kind of feel like it was a weird decision because hybrid watches in general, they are like these pretty, uh, dress watches with a with a smallish kind of digital display. So hybrid watches are for smart watches for people who like who like the look of that like normal watches, uh, but but like the smart functionality. Now no one's gonna mistake this for a non digital watch because I mean it looks pretty much like a, a you know like a like a digital watch. So it's it's just like it's 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 quirky. And again, it's coming from the Instinct has always been famous for its um, kind of out of this out of the box sort of approach to watches. If you remember, there was the Diesel Edition, there was the Esports Edition. So there's always been like a bit of a sandbox area, the Instinct franchise for Garmin. So I guess from that perspective, it makes sense that they added the analog functionality onto this watch. But uh, again, it's just a super weird concept. I guess I like it because it's a very different from all the other Garmin watches out there. And the second thing I like about the Garmin Instinct crossover solar is that it's super feature rich. You know, this is a, a full fledged Garmin watch. You got all the functionality, you got sleep tracking, you got VO2 max estimation, you got training recommendations, you got, you know, ABC sensors, digital compass, you get gosh like everything body battery you got the smart notifications you got the wallet um literally everything that you can imagine from a garmin watch in 2023 is included in the garmin instant crossover solar and it is just extremely feature rich and again because the Garmin garmin connect app is free for now and all the features all the advanced features are also free uh, it just makes sense to to you know to include this in the watch uh, because you know who who doesn't like more features really Okay, now that we discussed the two things that I like about the watch, let's talk about the four things that I, I'm not, you know, overly excited about. Uh, first of them being that, again, it is a weird watch and, and I like the weirdness. It's literally the Garmin Instinct 2 Solar with with the analog hands. And from that perspective, and again, it's 100, 100 pounds or you know, not even 100 pounds, more than 100 pounds, 100 dollars more expensive. It's, 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 it's a lot more expensive than the already popular and capable a Garmin Instinct 2 Solar. Once the the initial period wears off, when you're like, oh gosh, you look at these, the arms move right out of the way when you interact with the screen and blah, blah, blah. Once once that period is over, you're like, what, what, why would I choose this over other, you know, other watches, especially other cheaper Garmin watches like the Instinct 2 Solar. The second thing I don't like about the watch, uh, and it, I guess it kind of goes to all the all the instinct watches out there that they're quite bulky uh, as i said the 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 strap is not on the hinge so it's, it's kind of kind of solid and also it's a pretty bulky this all plastic rubber you know construction so it makes it hard for people like for me anyway to wear the watch 24 7 and if you don't wear the watch 24 7 then you miss out on law functionality so you obviously haven't got the sleep tracking if you don't wear it for sleep uh, if you don't wear it for sleep then you're not going to get uh, proper training recommendations you're not going to get the body battery right you're not going to get a lot of other things right again i appreciate obviously it's like you know it's it, it has a purpose it's not just the the bulkiness is is it serves a a, a, a function so it, it is bulky because maybe because it needs to be maybe because in the army you know you have to you want to use it with like gloves on or or, or whatever uh, but again for for this for this sort of health uh, health watch fitness watch kind of from from that perspective the bulkiness is not not a good thing the third thing that i don't like uh, and kind of connected to the battery which again the battery life is really really good on the watch but i still managed to get it down to to nearly zero percent uh, during the testing and you know when it gets in the air near zero watch offers you to to put the, the battery saver mode on which obviously can initiate yourself as well if you wanted to uh, anyway, I put this battery saver mode on, I charged the watch, and and I noticed that the the battery saver didn't clear. So obviously, when I flick my wrist, it wouldn't turn on, and um, and you know other functions ha have been disabled as well uh, because of the battery saver uh, feature, and um, and I kind of find it a bit weird that that it wouldn't clear. So I had to go into the settings and clear it myself, which I was like, okay, surely you know, like it could be automated as well. Once you obviously reach a certain point, then it could just take it off you know, if it was offered to you to, to put it on originally. I don't know, it just it just felt a bit weird that I had to do it, had to do it manually and then had to discover it uh, by, by the watch not, you know, collecting all the data I wanted it to collect. 
that's all. And the fourth and most important thing that I don't like about the watch, and uh, again, I mentioned this earlier, is the price. Uh, there is basically is everything I, I could I could forgive the, the the instinct crossover solar everything if it was cheap and I think I think like the instinct franchise as a whole uh, moved away from from being this excessively priced Phoenix alternative and now you know selling it for five hundred fifty dollars or five hundred thirty pounds it's an expensive expensive watch you can get like pretty decent you know watches for like two fifty and uh, to pay this much for a watch that you know the only thing it does is it has these little arms and and the chapter ring i i feel like that just it's not a ripoff but it's, it's like uh, you know is it worth a hundred extra dollars to have the arms on which again covers some of the screen as well i'm like i just i just don't see why would anyone buy it over the instinct 2 solar this is kind of like sitting on the fence so it's like Oh, so this is a bit more expensive than than most watches on the market, smart watches, uh, and it offers like some some weird stuff. Like it's not a pretty watch. It's not a you know it's not a highly you know the the analog hands are not you know it's not a super functional either. It's just like you got analog hands for an extra hundred pounds, and you're like, well, what what is the point? So I I don't I don't necessarily like this aspect of the watch. Big question, should you buy the Garmin Instinct Crossover Solar? I kind of gave it away, uh, like in my, you know, in the previous section. I, I, can, I can't wholeheartedly recommend the watch because, because of this weirdness and because of the price. Uh, I feel like that it, it, it would, I might only appeal to people who are collectors, who are, you know, very, feel very strongly for Garmin watches. It's just a weird watch really, and it's not a cheap watch. Uh, if it was a weird watch and if it was excessively priced, I would say, oh yeah, no, fine, you know, might as well go for it because you got a bit of extra functionality, but you know, you got the, you got the arms, you got the ring, and it covers some of the already small screen. And, you know, even, even with the arms moving out of the way, it still, you know, it still covers the middle of the screen so that the actual useful screen real estate is very, very small. Uh, and it's getting to the point where it's like, so small, like, it's just, it's just not, it doesn't make sense. You know, it doesn't make sense to me for this watch to exist. And I'm not sure who it's for. And, and, and it's, and it's not cheap. So I, I find it hard to recommend the watch. That said, I did enjoy using the watch. Again, I didn't have to pay for it to, to use it for the for the trial period. And again, I, w I wasn't extremely fond of the Instinct 2 Solar either because of the same reason, because I found it a bit expensive and then the screen a bit not quite there. I don't know, it's, it's I, I can't recommend it. If, if you obviously, if you're super keen on, on trying the watch, you know, try it. If you try the Instinct 2 Solar, you know what you're gonna get. You know, it's up to you. I, I leave it up to you. I, I probably wouldn't buy it myself. This is just like a, an interesting experiment. As for rating, I award the Garmin Instinct Crossover Solar 65 out of 100 fireflies because fireflies because, you know, it, it lights up in the dark. So I thought fireflies were appropriate. So 65 out of 100. So that was it for today, guys. I'm not sure <laughs> if this video is going to be the same as my previous video about the Instinct 2 Solar, which I, again, I didn't quite like. I did try to make this video more of a standard structure that how I uh, usually do my, my reviews. Uh, because we all have our opinions the, obviously everything that goes into my videos are my opinion and um, as much as i'm exposed to a lot of garmin watches and smart watches and uh, all that stuff uh, you know very often I, I i'm never gonna pretend that i'm like i know everything about these watches and i'm sure people use these watches for for longer than just you know how I, you know i use them for like half a year a year you know I'm, I'm gonna have a few watches that i'm gonna use for you know continuously i'm wearing the enduro 2 which i've been i've been wearing for for months and months now um it's it's you know it makes sense that other people will discover stuff that i have missed uh not to mention the gummy watches obviously are very famous for 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 the updates and and the garmin never really leaves them behind so for a, for a good many years uh, garmin supports its watches so i can imagine the instinct uh you know solar crossover solar receiving some some updates you know throughout the years uh, but anyway at the moment i i'm not i'm not a huge fan of the instinct series as 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 a whole that is interesting because i used to love the instinct the original instinct was one of my favorite watches of his generation uh, again it was very you know accessibly priced it was it was it was cute it, it served a purpose but i think i think garmin is moving away from this um you know make like that the instinct is a, an accessibly priced watch range you know i want the instinct to be cheap and 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 cheerful and it is not at the moment 
anyway that was it for today guys i hope you enjoyed the video and if you did please leave a like and consider subscribing to my channel because obviously it means a lot of small channels so thank you very much for watching guys and have a lovely day cheers bye